Hey everyone and welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to be revisiting Bitdefender, one of the bigger names in the antivirus software space. And in this review, I'm going to be asking, with all the new cyber threats that keep emerging, does it still have what it takes to keep you safe online? So I'm putting out this updated review based on my personal experience with Bitdefender and the test that my team's done on the latest version. Staying safe online and keeping all of my devices operating at peak capacity is a top priority for me. So I'll introduce you to the features that I think make Bitdefender stand out. And to be completely honest, as usual, I'll also go over all the features that I think that they could improve. Plus, we'll look into their plans, pricing, and everything else that I think you should know before you settle on the best antivirus software for you. I'll walk you through the pros, the cons, and the plans, and hopefully that'll help you make your choice of whether or not Bitdefender is the right antivirus software for you. And if you find this review interesting or helpful and you want to show any love, like this video and consider subscribing if you haven't already to see more of my honest reviews. I research and talk about all sorts of stuff. And also, just to be upfront, I review brands and I share what I know about them in the hopes that my reviews will help people choose what's right for them. Now, if you decide to try Bitdefender at any point, I get a bit of a kickback if you use the link in the description. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to Bitdefender's website. So it's a win-win. And if you haven't already heard about Bitdefender, it's a top name in the antivirus software space. It's known for having some of the best free antivirus protection you can get. Since it hit the market in 2001, Bitdefender has definitely established themselves as one of the best antivirus subscriptions out there. We decided to check them out because they've won countless awards over the years, including Product of the Year four times from AV Comparatives, which is an independent Austrian body that tests and assesses antivirus software. All right, let's start with their pricing and some of their main features, which by the way, all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can try out any plan you want before you have to commit to paying anything. And firstly, they do have a free version, which actually might just be the best free antivirus software out there. It offers really strong basic protection for Windows, Android, and Mac. And of course, free protection is better than no protection. But to actually be safe, you should really think about investing in a subscription service that gives you a whole suite of protective services that no free version could ever even come close to matching. And for more regular Windows users, in other words, not businesses or systems managers, they recommend Bitdefender Antivirus Plus, which starts at 30 bucks for one device and up to 80 bucks for 10 devices for the first year. And the cost of this plan, like all others, comes down if you opt for a two or three year plan. And of course, even further, if you use the discounted link in the description, your Windows PC would be protected from malware, spyware, adware, and ransomware, with scans for all the usual threats like viruses, worms, and trojans, plus the nastier stuff like ransomware, zero-day exploits, rootkits, and spyware. On the basic plan, you have privacy tools like a built-in but pretty limited VPN, and your online purchases are secured with Bitdefender's safe pay feature. The vulnerability assessment tool scans for security issues like outdated software, unsafe system settings, and missing Windows security patches. And to catch problematic apps, there's a feature called Advanced Threat Defense that basically continuously monitors all the processes running on your computer for suspicious activities like copying files or installing drivers that can see what you're doing outside of the app. The ransomware protection feature also helps you make backups of your most important files, so you're protected from data loss if anything does happen. And the next best option for Windows users with kids is Bitdefender Internet Security. At 60 bucks for the first year on up to three devices, here you get more advanced protection with the addition of a firewall and parental control tools so you can keep your kids safer. The firewall protects your actual network connection and has more advanced functions if you're more tech savvy. But for those of you who aren't so tech savvy, it's still pretty effective on the automatic setting. Their parental controls help you protect your kids from Potentially harmful content helps you limit screen time and basically see and control what your kids are doing online. All you have to do is log into Bitdefender Central remotely to see what your kids are up to. And if like me, you use multiple platforms, then Bitdefender Total Security protects up to five devices across all the major operating systems so you can use it on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS for $70 for the first year. This is the subscription that I went for because like I said, it runs on all platforms and includes all the features I've already mentioned with the addition of a device optimizer. And just so you can get an idea of what a device optimizer can do for your computer's performance, my computer was getting slower and slower 
until I thought it was time for a new one. But after I installed Total Security and used the device optimization tool, it started running much faster. It wasn't the absolute fastest it had ever run, but it was definitely a lot faster, not to mention it was a lot cleaner. For example, there were no more pop-ups or annoying screens that opened right when I turned on my computer. It took a while to scan my computer, but it was worth it because it freed up a ton of space. It repaired my registries, optimized my browsers, and adjusted my Windows settings until everything was running smoothly and looked to be really safe. Now, if you have a larger family, Bitdefender's Family Pack gives complete antivirus protection on every system for up to 15 devices for one year and costs 75 bucks. If you want even more security across all operating systems, like identity theft protection and monitoring, then there are three options for Bitdefender Premium Security. They start at 80 bucks for the first year and they go up to 120 bucks if you add insurance for identity theft, alerts on your bank cards, and investment account monitoring. This is impressive protection with the whole suite of advanced features, plus a password manager, and an unlimited version of the VPN that's kind of disappointedly restricted to 200 megabytes in their other plans. And again, I just want to point out that if you decide you want to try Bitdefender and you want to save a bit more money in the process, then check out the link that I left down in the description to get the discount that I mentioned, which you wouldn't get if you went straight to Bitdefender's website. Okay, so let's talk about how easy or hard Bitdefender is and more generally what it's like to actually use. As I said, I have the total security option on all my devices. And while installation wasn't the quickest on my PC, Thanks to the huge installation file, it's not that complicated, even for non-tech users. Once you set it up, the app is really clear and easy to navigate. There's a dashboard that displays your status and options for quick actions you can take. All the advanced functions are grouped under three tabs, protection, privacy, and utilities. Under protection, you find all the antivirus tools, including real-time protection, firewall controls, options to set up ransomware countermeasures, and so on and so forth. So because it had been a while since my last real Bitdefender review, I ran a few scans to test out Bitdefender and check if the software still holds up against all the new threats out there. You can choose from four types of scans, from a quick scan, which scanned over 3,000 files in just over three minutes, to a whole system scan in less than 30 minutes. The scan found all five of the malicious files that I put on my hard drive with real-time protection turned off. There's also a custom scan and a vulnerability scan that lasts about five minutes and reports any outdated software, system changes, or weaknesses. Having used and tested the Bitdefender malware scanner, I can say that it's a great security tool. It's pretty comprehensive and it's quick. It doesn't take over your machine's resources or slow it down while scanning. The privacy tab includes all the functions that protect your information and keep you anonymous online. Here you can find the VPN, safe pay, and parental controls. The VPN uses the super fast catapult Hydra protocol to reroute your IP address, but it's limited to 200 megabytes a day. So you'll have to go for one of the premium plans to get unlimited use of it. So it isn't that well suited for streaming, but there are some other tools you'll find in the privacy section to secure your microphone and webcam, an anti-tracker extension for your browser, and a social network protection that keeps you safe from any bad or malicious links on social media. I was pretty happy to see that Bitdefender's anti-theft function works really well for PC as well as mobile devices with tools that you can access remotely from your Bitdefender central account. Under the utilities tab, you'll find your device optimization tools, profile management, and a file shredder that deletes sensitive files completely without a trace. Bitdefender's tools adapt to your hardware and you can set profiles depending on your activity. So it won't get in the way of gaming or things like that. Here, I liked how it improved the performance of all my devices, but I have to say that while Bitdefender's Mac app works fine, it doesn't work as well on iOS as it does on Android. But Bitdefender is really good at blocking malicious code, exploits, and protecting you from attacks. And the multi-level ransomware tools have also been really impressive. So how does Bitdefender compare with other antivirus solutions? Well, another one I've tested and reviewed recently is Norton, which is also really easy to use across all operating systems. Both companies have great customer support, but Bitdefender comes slightly ahead in that department with a really, really useful expert community platform where you can get help for specific problems. And on cost, Bitdefender generally costs a bit less, although Norton does offer more options for business users. I'd say that Bitdefender is better for personal and home protection. And while both have pretty robust tools to prevent, detect, and 
remove malware and viruses in my own tests, Bitdefender actually had the slight edge, especially when it came to the amount of resources tied up in the scans. On the other hand, Norton has a slightly better VPN and password tools, but I found the anti-phishing, anti-spam, and anti-ransomware protection from Bitdefender put it slightly ahead. Plus, it's one of the most highly rated antivirus apps on the market, known to constantly win top marks in independent lab tests. And of course, it depends on your needs, but in my experience, Bitdefender is the best antivirus software because it offers better overall performance and more useful advanced features. Okay, so the bottom line is that I'd go out on a limb and say that Bitdefender Antivirus is one of, if not the top, online security products around. The free version is probably the best free antivirus software you can find, but subscribers have their choice from a bunch of different plans. The antivirus software suite extends protection to all aspects of your life online, but you don't need more advanced computer skills to use it. I've relied on it for a while to keep all my devices safe, and I'm pretty pleased to be able to report that it's still capable of detecting, preventing, and destroying new threats as they arise. All right, that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe for more of my reviews and just general thoughts on stuff. And feel free to leave any questions or even just what you think about Bitdefender in the comments section down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do decide that you want to give Bitdefender a try, I do get a small kickback if you use the affiliate link in the description. Like I said, it doesn't cost you anything, and you get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't find if you went right to their website. So I think it's a win-win for both of us. And if you made it this far, I want to personally thank you for watching and taking an interest in what we do here. And finally, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.